Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. There's a new evolution right now in FC24 that is creating some really insane cards, but you actually might need to check your club, because there might be some players inflated in price because of this Evo that you just have sitting around that might be free and easy coins, like 10,000 coins for a bronze card. So we're going to talk about that today, and the highly favored 83 times 10 SBC is back. Yep, it's come back. We can do it twice a day leading up to Team of the Year. Should you save it or should you open it right now? We'll talk about that. There's a conversation that needs to be had with everything else that is going on. And I got to finish my 87 plus icon pick because a new SBC is going to be coming today. What's that SBC going to do? What's the market going to be doing? We're going to talk about it all and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go over, eh, we'll talk about the SBCs first. And we'll go with the icon SBC. Our player SBC yesterday was Ashley Cole, right? This was a leak. We talked about it in last night's video. And it was the one that was dropped. Now, this card was, in my opinion, before the SBC came out, overpriced. 680,000 coins. I think this card was on the market or 700k. I mean, the SBC right now is basically 680,000 coins to do for a three-star, two-star left back. I know the playstyle plus is really good. He's got great playstyles all around. I mean, even as Trivella playstyle, he's got whipped, pass, slide tackle block, jockey plus, of course, and technical. Um, and he, I guess, is really, really good in game, guys. Like, his base icon card is not that expensive, but when this Centurion came out, it's always been really, really expensive. Like, he was 900 coins after Black Friday, um, and he's kind of been slowly dropping since then. I think this card was legit, like, 700,000 coins uh, when the leak came out that he was getting an SBC. And, of course, now he's 500k on the market. It's kind of like the same situation that happened with Maldini. Um, his card in the market's dropping a lot because the SBC is there and it's craftable. But man, I, I think that this is just an SBC that is overpriced, in my opinion, for the card that you get. I know that he's cracked, but unless you really need a left back, which I don't think a lot of us are struggling for right now, uh, this SBC just maybe isn't the one to do, or maybe that's the only reason to do it if you really, really want Ashley Cole. Um, he's probably not getting a Team of the Year icon, right? Because he's got this Centurion, and he's got it as an SBC that's out for 59 days. So... It's craftable for sure. It's not that many squads, so it's not that terrible to get done. But I don't think that SBC is loved by many because of the price that it is at and the other great left backs that are available on the game. Now, the other SBC we had was that 8310. And yes, I'm going to open this one right now because I think there actually is a reason to open some of the 83 times 10s at least for the next couple of days. First of all, this SBC is the same requirements as always. An 83 rated squad with a team of the week. And I'm hoping that in this one, I get a team of the week back. And I'm going to take you through my thought process of what I'm going to do with these SBCs. All right, first one, no way. I don't get a double walkout. I just get Kavicha 86 rated. Okay, please be an informant in here. I need this. There is no inform. Wow, that's an 86 and 84 and a whole bunch of 83s. Wow, great. That is fantastic. Actually, not at all. That's terrible. So this is what I'm going to do with the 83 times 10, guys. I'm going to open one, and I'm going to save one for each and every day. That 84 times 10 is from objectives. Don't go crazy. That's not an SBC. The 83 times 10 is, and I'm going to open one per day, and I'm going to save one per day. That's my plan. I'm going to do them both because right now, before team of the year, I would like to save some packs, but also I want to open some of these so that I still have 83s in my club, and the hope is that when I do one like I just did right there, that I can get myself enough 83s to basically go and do this again. That's what we love about the 83 times 10, right, is the craftability of it. So now all I have to do is somehow go get an inform. I did buy a couple. I don't want to use the ones that I bought if I don't have to. I'm trying to save those for later on in the week, but I can go buy myself an inform. I can put it into the squad here and I should be good to go after that, right? Boom. I've got my 282s. I've got my 983s. Once I add an inform and I'll have that squad done and dusted, ready to go. I think I like that method of, of doing things. Now, once we get to Tuesday, when the versus cards go out of packs, then I'm probably going to be saving all the 83 times 10s, right? Because they are such a great SBC. They give out so much fodder. I know a lot of you guys are going to be saving them as well. Kind of just depends on how much you want to grind. Like I know that each day I can probably get enough store packs if I really just work through objectives. I can get enough 83 doubles or an 80, even like a 75 plus player pick that you get from the daily daily play objective gives you uh, like an 83 almost every time you open it, right? You still have the winter wild cards crafting. I'm going to get this done in the next couple of days, get an 80 times 10. So that's how I can keep feeling like I can restock the club with that low rated fodder. I'm not going to save a pack for team of the year that doesn't have over at least an 83 plus 
um, like pack guarantee. That's personally how I'm going to do it, right? Even an 83 plus seems a little bit low. I'm going to open some of those packs. But um, yeah, that's kind of the 83 times 10. You know what it is. It's been released multiple times this year. And, you know, did it impact informs? That's the biggest question, right? This is why we talked about buying into informs last night on the YouTube video. Informs, I think, went up right away when this was released, but they're back down. I heard that they were selling for almost 35K yesterday right when that SBC was released and they kind of peaked but then they've now dropped back down a little bit to under 33k I still think that if you want to do the other upgrade packs that are going to come out during this week like the midfielder the attacker the defender 83 pluses or the 85 pluses there's a high chance that an inform requirements involved there there's also even a chance that an inform requirement is involved today in a new icon or hero pack player pick sort of situation so I did pick up a couple more informs I tried to get 84 rated for about 32,000 coins i hopped on some of those bids to get those cards i'm not investing really to make coins in that part of the market i'm honestly just investing there so that i have cards to do sbcs later on this week but guys i'm gonna tell you something just do this okay you don't even really have to buy team of the weeks off the market i did it for ease of use and i'm probably still gonna buy the players to do this sbc just so you're aware the 83 plus team league player pick if you buy it from scratch costs you twenty two thousand coins an inform off the market costs you what 33k right now save yourself ten thousand coins and spend two three minutes buying the cards off the market it's definitely still worth buying the cards to do the player pick than it is to actually buy the inform off of the market just to make that clear ea is giving us a cheaper way to get informs um it's just a lot of us don't want to open packs so if you're going to spend coins just buy the 82s buy the 83s or the 81s whatever you need to finish off that player pick that is the cheapest way to do uh, get informs right now on this game so i wanted to point that out because something simple like that sometimes just goes over our heads right when we're looking through the menus and trying to grind and all that sort of thing so that's what i'm doing with the 83 times 10s that first one there was absolutely terrible i am not excited for that now Let's talk about the evolution, right? And this is where we need to check our clubs. I've checked my club, and unfortunately, there was nothing in my club that's going to sell for anything good. But this was our new Evo yesterday. Fast forward. Remember we talked about a rumor of a bronze Evo? It was leaked just before content yesterday, and this is what it is. It's 75,000 coins, which is not cool, again. But it is a huge upgrade. Guys, we're talking plus 24 overall. What is the pace boost here? You go from 66 pace to 83. And actually, I love what EA have done here with this evolution for giving out the radioactive car design because they know when we look in this evolution, we're like, uh, who are these guys in our club? Like, who are these players in our club that were supposed to Evo through this? Like, the fact that they made it the radioactive car design so that it gives chemistry is really, really sick. Of course, a lot of people are still going for cards that actually get good links like this Serie A. Mario Gila is a very expensive car on the market right now. This is a card you want to check your club for, right? This guy's 10,000 coins on the market uh, because he looks pretty cracked as his evolution card full upgraded. Yes, he's low medium work rates, uh, but hey, it's a center back. He's going to stay back. 84 dribbling, 88 defense, 88 physical. A lot of people are saying, yo, this ain't worth 75k. It's not worth 75,000 coins for me to put somebody in this evolution just to upgrade them to a high rated center back. I totally feel that, right? This is more of a fun Evo. This is not, yes, it does make a card usable, but uh, that's why Evos are the number one thing in this game this year, content-wise, in my opinion. They move the market, and there are just so many ways you can use them. They're getting more and more meta, as we've seen with the finisher evolution that dropped last week. But the fact this one's 75,000 coins, I think does throw some people off, and that's why it's pretty heavily downvoted. But again, check your clubs, right? Just go on Footbin, search up some of the bronze cards that you have if they look cracked after you preview them in the Evo. Like some of these cards, like they don't have enough pace. Maybe, maybe this card sells for a little bit of something. How's he look? 78 pace yeah it's not going to make his price go up that much right big clubs um popular leagues as well are going to be making some prices move i think one of the most popular cards from this evo is oku from league one he's from monaco i believe his bronze cards ten thousand coins he's got low medium work rates as well but when you look at this card you're like 99 jumping 99 strength with really really good stats this could be a player that goes straight into your defense depending on who you have in your club there could be some really, really good Evos that you find that you just go straight into your team here, right? Oku is one. A lot of people I've seen have been searching up. There's a Dortmund center back that if you want to go crazy and put him into Pep's legacy, you can put him into Pep's legacy and then into fast forward and he gets a play style pl uh, plus. He's also three star, five star. I think this card looks pretty sick, but he's also on Pep's legacy. Um, there's, there's some really, really cool options inside of here for cards that end up looking 
really really stack now one thing i will warn you of warn you of is some of the players on footman like always when you search them up they can't actually be evolved to an 89 like this shia rodia from bundesliga the italian he can't be upgraded this because the rare defender upgrade is no longer available and actually i think this guy is like 10,000 coins or he was yeah he's 8,000 coins uh but i don't think the fast forward evo fits his base card actually because he has too much something i don't know what he has maybe it's the playstyles i don't know but when i look through a lot of his his evos i don't see a version that gives you the fast forward car design without having to do welcome to evolutions actually if he, if he fits welcome to evolutions then he should fit this card by his base bronze as well but i don't see an 87 rated version here it's i probably have to look on foot.gg because they show more options but um yeah just be careful with that like this 89 rated version of him is technically not possible right now so watch out for that there's a lot of other really popular versions here liverpool left back and center back um, positioned chambers uh the like a rock evo i think has expired they can't put people in it anymore it is technically still available so that one's not possible either to, either to get that crazy of a card there's an arsenal uh right back center back combo here you know you have to do the 86 rated version you can't get the 87 because again he, you don't, you can't do that one anymore. A dopo. I actually played against somebody who had a dopo, but it was an 87 rated version of him. I think through growth spurt. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty insane looking card. A French center back. I think his card's extinct too. Is it? Let's double check. Oh, only 1900. Okay, there you go. I think he was 10k at one point yesterday. Yeah, he went up all the way to 10,000 coins. Now he's back down. These cards are rare. So watch them on the market. All that to say. Check your, check your club for bronze cards, man. Um, and maybe this is one where you're like, I'm just going to wait. And if there's a player from a certain league that you pack during the next couple of weeks that you want to spend 75,000 coins on or 350 FC points to do this evolution, then go for it. But that is another one of those evos where it's more fun than like super crazy meta and getting into your team. Like people are going to use Maldini and probably VVD over that, right? But it also does spice it up and you get to use somebody that you've probably never used before, which I am definitely a fan of when it comes to the just, I don't know, the amount of items that we have, like the versatility and just the choices like it's always good to have choices right when you're trying to pick a card for your team and have options and that's what evos has given us this year is so many options now let's talk about this mini release oh is Teles going up okay he was just 19,000 coins and i picked up a couple because this is probably the most hyped card out of the mini release guys alex Teles. he's actually in packs now he was on the loading screen yesterday he's actually in packs now as we talked about this card right here the ice version is a center mid but looks like an insane left back that you could maybe position change in game with the anticipate plus block bruiser whipped pass and Trivella. He's kind of like he always is. He's always meta and OP in this game. I know that he's got the Saudi league links, which maybe puts him a little bit cheaper on the market, but he's still a Brazilian center mid in this case with stats and with a card that looks like a left back card. So I picked up a couple of him at 19 K with chemistry styles. I will add that. I just think that he might rise up a little bit this morning as people want to try his card out. And he seems to be the most popular out of the mini release that we had yesterday, which was Telez Diaby and Isco. And Diaby's card looks kind of cracked too. The ice version, I think, is the better one for Diaby. He has got technical plus. And it's a right mid Diaby that's right footed, four star, four star, high medium work rates. That the dribbling in this card is going to be pretty nuts for sure. Definitely going to be a little ratty, but it's going to be cheap. 77 composure. And this card stats don't look that insane. He just looks like he's a pacey. Premier League French wing player. But if that card ends up dropping off a lot, it could be a decent investment. Remember, these cards are really, really rare. So this was the mini release yesterday. The Diaby left mid has left wing back on it as well. That's a really interesting card. A left wing back with 45 physical. Sure. And then Isco, you've got a Trickster plus Isco cam. And a uh, what's the other Isco? You've got a first touch plus center attack and mid version of him as well. So not a whole lot going on uh, with the Isco card. Definitely Diaby and Telez are the most hyped from the ones that were dropped yesterday. Um, they didn't even give Isco five-star skills for the Trickster Plus. By the way, I think Trickster Plus with only four-star skills is really useless because a lot of the Trickster Plus five-star skills are so much better than, than when you have four. At least, I don't know. I'm not a skiller, but that's the way that I think of it. So anyways, the uh, versus cards, they definitely did drop off yesterday, but not without some pretty crazy movements. Like I'm looking at Alexis Sanchez. He was 170K. 
He's now 114,000 coins. I did not trade with any of these cards yesterday, but if you did, there were some good movements. Uh, we had that late Friday night drop into an early Saturday rise where Charleston went from 28,000 coins in the early morning hours, 5 a.m. UK, all the way to 36,000 coins. So a really good fluctuation there. But now he's down at 22K. I think the ice even went up as well. Be careful with this card, though. He is minimum price or right near it. So we're also at that time of the, the weekend where some cards that are getting close to their minimum prices you got to be careful with especially for a card like that where charleston if you're trading with him i still think that like joel felix is too expensive this rodri had some crazy spikes yesterday i saw him at like 800k and then all of a sudden he was a mill didn't last long though this card should probably drop down a bit more same thing with the ice um and all the ice cards uh, are kind of in the same as the fire, right? Felix is down, Rodri's down a little, Lawrence down a little, Coman's under 200k. So just keep an eye on these. They'll fluctuate. I don't think I want to buy any of them right now. We'll definitely keep an eye on them maybe tomorrow, maybe today, later in the day, but they're just rare cards. But everybody's just waiting for Team of the Year right now, guys. That is how it feels. And um, even with the lightning rounds that were dropped yesterday, like we had the 84 times 10, we had the 86 times 3, we had an 88 plus. Yeah, this is weird. They remember that 88 plus that was added to the code, an 88 plus player pick, 110,000 coins for a one of two 88 plus player pick. That just seems like a scam for me. I know it's 400 FC points, but I'd rather spend that amount of FC points on an evo or the coins on an evo as well yeah you're getting a card that is 88 plus but you're probably getting an 88 or an 89 and that's going to get you 35,000 coins of a worth of a card back in terms of fodder unless you pack a promo i don't know that seems like a really weird store pack to me but we also had the 600k store pack that was dropped which is the um, 88 times 14 that includes the base icon again the big store pack that we think might surpass this one in terms of value is the Kinetic, like an Ultra or Elite Kinetic pack. One of the two. I forget the name of it. That's the one that's got like the 100 players in it or it's got, no, it's got five guaranteed promo cards. That's the one. Five guaranteed promo cards from like the last couple promos, not including Winter Wild cards. That hasn't been added into the store yet. It might soon. So just keep an eye out for that. Also, as I look at my transfer list right now, I literally did nothing yesterday in terms of trading. I bought one Doku and I got a Neymar on a bid for like 44K and just flipped it for 50. Actually, it's a lazy sale. I don't think he's 50,000 coins even right now. But um, I did buy a Doku at like 217, sold at 239. So that was a small flip that we were able to have there. And yeah, I really didn't look at the market too much. I've just been lazy listing. I bid on some informs and some fodder. So the coins are a lot more liquid than they were, but we're still invested in some other random couple flips here and there, like the Tellez I mentioned. Uh, but I really haven't bought too much. And I'm probably going to steer clear of doing that maybe until later today because we got to talk about, at least with fodder, how things could go today on this game and with the market as well. Sundays are always icon pack days or hero pack days, right? And as I mentioned, I might have to spend a little bit of cash because I can't leave this SBC uncompleted. 14 hours left to go. I got to get this done. But the market right now is just yesterday. It felt pretty flat. And also, I would say that that is how the fodder market felt as well. You do have 83s that are starting to go up a bit. One 1.1K they were yesterday. So that's up like 200 coins. whoop de doo right? 84s, they were held in check by the 84 times 10s. 85s, they were held in check by the 84 times 10 lightning rounds as well. Even the 86s, let's take a look at these prices. Trent yesterday started the day. He's been between 8.2 and 8.8. .8, and these cards are down at like 8.4, which isn't low, right? The 87s are 14K. The 88s are 22K. What I could actually see happening today is with this SBC going away, the, 88, the 87 plus Centurions based Thunderstruck icon player pick. If this goes away and we get a hero player pick today those are always cheap right i can see 85s and maybe 86s going up maybe 84s too depending on how cheap the hero player pick is and how good it is the one that we had two weeks ago the 86 plus one that uh, also gave out triple threats that one was really good because it was a decent amount of options and it was very cheap and that made i think 85s and 86s move up if that comes out today then your 87s and 88s are probably going to drop because they're going to drop more lightning rounds but also what i could see happening today is EA not only dropping a hero player pick, or in the next two or three days, I could see EA dropping a hero player pick and an icon pack or player pick. Guys, this is the, the week of EA trying to drain 
our coins with fodder for pay with fodder for SBCs and paid evos right now they have two different ways to do it not just SBCs but paid evos as well and they've already dropped a couple of paid evos maybe we get the icon evo today which would be even another way that people could drain their coins before team of the year and then have to open packs right to replenish that's what EA is trying to do right now so I really think there's a good shout for a hero and an icon upgrade pick or pack both not the same thing combined, but like two different ones to drop during this week. I do think one of which will come today. I'm not entirely sure which one it would be. I'm not really investing in fodder for it because I don't think I'm going to do it, right? And I know that we've been talking about fodder going up this week. I, I do like the fact that fodder could rise if we get another icon pack because, guys, it's an icon pack. Even though we think it's better to be smart right now and probably not spend too many coins on that. There's still going to be a lot of people that do go ahead and do that, especially if they've sold their teams and they have coins sitting right up here in the top. They're going to be like, oh, hey, I got some coins. I could go. I can go do the SBC, right? You know, that's where EA gets everybody in this week. So be strong. All right. Maybe maybe skip this one unless it's really cheap or in, and really cracked and you can craft it with untradeable fodder if you want to. But that's why I'm going to stay away from the 87s and 88s because they're inflated a bit. Even the 86s too. And I would only invest in those if it's like, wow, we got an insane icon pack. Everybody's going to go do it. And they're going to go up because of that. Really, I'm still looking at the 83s, 4s, and 5s with more emphasis maybe on the 85s. Last year, 85s went crazy. Um, I don't think they're going to go crazy this year just because they went crazy last year. It's all going to depend on the requirements. But I need to pick up some of these under 5K. I think that could be a good buy. But just watch out for some sort of icon pick, hero pick pack today. That's definitely going to be coming as a part of content today. And then you guys know, right, they drop player species on the weekends pretty often. I don't know who it's going to be. I think we still have a, a Welbeck flashback leak. Maybe that leak has expired. Maybe EA changed their mind. Maybe that's not coming. I don't know. I genuinely do not know what's going to go on with this whole flashback SBC situation. Today would be a decent day, you'd think, for them to drop an SBC. We'll see if it actually happens. And then I already mentioned it, uh, but it, it's mentioning worth mentioning again. The evolution for the Icon Evo that is still leaked, that is very possible to come. Because again, what do we know about Evos? The weekends are when the Evos drop. And we've had right the skill move weak foot upgrade yesterday. Two days ago, I mean, we had fast forward yesterday. So yeah, there's plenty. Wow, 85 pace, 89 physical on that card there. Interesting. That's not a bad looking card. Links to Holland with the nationality there, right? So this isn't a terrible Evo, but it's a coin drain Evo, and it is a weekend, so I think we'll get another one of those today on this game. I don't know what it is. The icons, by the way, that were extinct, like remember Socrates? Who was it? Socrates, Zola, Gerard, they were all extinct. Now these guys are down. People are starting to sell them as they're like, oh man, is this Evo not coming? So if the Evo does not come, these cards are going to go back probably below what they were when they were first leaked uh, when we were first leaked to have an icon evo so just be careful with that right now in this game speaking of evos real fast a really good evo is expiring today at least expiring for um you being able to unlock it gross spurt one and two and i got to do this myself today this evo um gives out some really insane cards what i'm going to do with this one is i'm just going to put some players in it finish them in the next seven days before it expires and hope that i can evo them again in the future i don't really have anybody special that i want to put in it but i just think there's really really good potential here it gives a play style plus right dead ball i might do mihailovic i might do deli ali i'm not decided on who i'm gonna, i got two options right and it's free so i would make sure if you haven't unlocked any of these especially if you're looking to do a combination there's I think a couple opportunities for combinations with Growth Spurt and maybe the Fast Forward. But Growth Spurt was a really good combination Evo with even the skill move and weak foot training. It's really, really good for some of those boosts. If you're looking on foot.gg, you're trying to figure out some calculations there. Spend a little bit of time, figure out who you want to put in this because these are Evos, at least this two, these two that you don't want to miss out on. So watch out for that today as well. And uh, we'll talk about market just a little bit more in a second. But guys, I got to talk about leaks for a second again because um there have been leaks i've seen posted about team of the year leaks and i know some of you guys probably have seen them as well like nate is it actually true that vvd is 100 percent confirmed to be in team of the year i mean he's probably getting in team of the year right everybody expects vvd to get in based off of the popularity of the vote how decent he's played how well he's played right it seems like he's a shoe in for team of the year guys the leaks that you're seeing for official leaks of team of the year players the voting doesn't end until early tomorrow 
I would not believe them. Okay. Yes, they do make sense. But honestly, right now, I feel like the official leaks that you're seeing on Twitter, I'm not going to call out names, but I'm sure you guys have seen some tweets. I would just say, don't believe those. Okay. Don't believe those yet. Wait until we have our credible leakers that have been posting stuff correctly year round all the time with like almost 100% accuracy. Wait until we see stuff from then. And also just use common sense. The vote's not even over yet. So really there shouldn't be any leaks yet for players actually getting into team of the year. Although again, like we mentioned, we know Mbappe is going to be in. We know VVD is probably going to be in. We know Jude Bellingham's probably going to be in. But like the fact that there's leaks for some of that stuff already for some of those players, like that to me is just more cloud chasing than actually like, oh, there's big news. There's a leak. So that's the way that I see it. So just be careful. Again, that's just a general rule with this ultimate team communities. Be careful with what you are seeing uh, on the Twitter machine, on the X machine, right? With all those um, posts and stuff like that. Just be careful what you believe because there's some sus stuff that is going on out there. So, um, we do have squad battle rewards today for the market. And uh, man, I don't know, like we're in a period in the market where prices are not dropping. I was kind of just looking at some out of pack specials, right? Winter wild card is still very popular. I'm looking at a lot of prices in here. They're not really down. Like Shearer's down a little bit. I sold them at 180 on Friday. Um, but like Yeshin, still 800K. Uh, Adiemi 200. Renato 404. Goretzka's up 250. Uh, a lot of these cards are just chilling, right? And that's how I feel like most of the market is. Some of the versus cards, they're moving a bit too up and down. So the market feels like it's a good place to honestly to trade. Like it feels pretty safe still at the moment, which seems weird to say literally days before team of the year. The fact that um, Kamavinga was 250, went all the way to 270 yesterday and is right now 242. That's actually sitting on the market for Kamavinga ice. Yo, I'm there and uh, I'm buying that. I will definitely take that off of somebody's hands for 242,000 coins without a doubt like that's the sort of thing where i'm looking at these cards okay there's a bid 232 like yes the market seems kind of dead but it's not dying at the moment right so watch bids that reminds me get on bids guys for cards that you think nobody even is watching um special card ooh, 242 i said i would take it Ooh, first owner fresh as well probably has some games played who still has a first owner fresh comma vinga that you haven't played yet interesting not that people care about fresh cards when they're 200,000 coins but uh I'm going to list that up at like two, uh, let's go 270. That's a possible lazy sale, right? That's 10K over what he's, he's been going up to every day. This card's really rare. How many of them at 270? Let's check the supply. Oh, dude, there's like five cards. <laughs> Come on, man. No brainer. Yeah, we're going to try to lazy sell that for 270,000 coins. Stuff like that is what I'd be trading with right now in this game too. And then just the low tier. But, you know, I don't even know what's going to cause panic truly on the market. It's going to take a team of the year announcements, I think and a loading screen and real like team of the year news to get some panic on this market again. I do believe there is going to be some of that coming, but for right now, we're just chilling. We're really just chilling and just biding our time and waiting until team of the year. Alaba at 195 is pretty low. The fluctuations though um, are great guys right now. Is he really 195? He, was he 220 yesterday? He was 213, went down to 200, back to 207. He was definitely 220 on Friday. 226. So like if I could get that at one, maybe 85 or 190 flat on a snipe, like that's a price that I can't turn down for a card that is very rare. I know a lot of people have the Alaba Evo, but like, yo, that's a card that I will like one, 192, 175 on that bid. You know what? That's a card that I'd be down to flip as well. It's all about the quick flips, get in, get out. And if you don't want to risk it, then get in on the fodder, right? The 84s, the 85s are still very risk-free. Get on the bids. Like I thought that was a decent price for Neymar. I think I can lazy him for like 52. People buy Neymar all the time. That sort of thing as well. Perisic has been a great lazy sale for me. Buy him at like 23, list him at 26 or 27, right? With the Uris that is out. Be careful with the goalkeepers still. They're very much down. I don't think they'll rebound until probably this next week after team of the year starts. But I think that's a video for me today, guys. The market's kind of in a nice place. We're all invested, I think, in fodder, or a lot of us are, and we're just ready to get team of the year here, right? My packs uh, save has really started, as I said, and uh, I got to play some champs as well because I got to get some player picks. I got to get some rewards. We got to get moving. I'm almost there on my Sessegnon as well. I'm getting very, very close to having 91 Pep's Legacy Incisive Pass Sessegnon, who I actually think I'm going to play at left wing and Basha at left back. We'll see how that works out. But that's kind of the Evo situation at the moment. I caught up on everything and just got to decide who I'm going to put into the Evos expiring today. So that's a long video to say. Check your club. Buy a little bit of fodder to get ready for SBCs. Be careful with the market, but don't be too scared that you buy nothing. 
and hopefully we get some good content today and probably more big store packs in the store and lightning rounds and all that jazz. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in another video tomorrow. It's been Nathan for the Count. Peace. Out.